Hello everyone, welcome back. Josh here, and if you guys are seeing this video, you are definitely one of our subscribers, and that has been the case for the last several weeks or so since the shadow ban that took place, and we were warned about this, we knew it was going to happen, where they no longer recommend our videos, they pretty much just leave us in a state of existence where we're here, and if you've already found us, you will be able to pull us back up by looking at your subscription list and going to our channel that way. And that's that's been okay. It's been a big change for us going from having thousands of comments per day, thousands and tens of thousands of views every day, and having people to actually respond to and answer questions that they are asking because I try my best to read every single question and reply as long as it's not a death threat or something like that. And if it is, I still try to reply to those sometimes. Or if I see that people are going after our subscribers and attacking them, because it's usually spiritual attacks, that's all it is. And I don't want them to receive that as they are coming here in quest of finding truth. So I usually block people like that. I don't just block people who disagree. That's what a lot of the people coming and commenting seem to say is you're blocking me. And I don't block anyone who comes here asking questions ever as long as you are kind not using vulgar language or threatening and just cup copy and paste in your your same comment to hundreds of our subscribers in the comment section you're free to come here and ask questions and put out your ideas but um being shadow banned yes it's it's tough but that's okay i i have been sent some of the best subscribers and it is great to have you guys here and continue to share with while we are allowed to. But I saw this article and I wanted to share it with you guys and other people in the truther community about what they are going to manually and forcefully do. And it is the deletion of channels. They're already doing that in the US. This is an article in the UK. They've already been doing that here. And obviously because Sun and Moon Family was deleted and they're in the UK, they've been doing that there as well. But they usually do stuff and then we are told they're going to do it, which means they're already doing this. But it says here, YouTube will delete thousands of accounts after banning supremacist, conspiracy theorists, and other harmful accounts it has claimed. This, the decision was made after an in-depth review of its rules on hateful content, YouTube said. Now, while it has always banned hate content in general, no, it hasn't. The site has allowed some specific kinds of harmful videos such as those promoting Nazi ideology or claiming 9-11 did not happen. And actually, none of us have ever said 9-11 didn't happen. We all know that it happened. It did happen. We're just saying that evidence, scientific evidence, repeatable experiments you can do to prove that things didn't happen the way they say they did and that maybe there was a different cause Maybe it was planned. Maybe there's some predictive programming. And that stuff's allowed to go on. They're allowed to put that in movies. But uh, no one's saying that didn't happen. It did happen. A lot of people died. But um, they say that they allowed those to, to continue being hosted on the site. Those videos, as well as other kinds of supremacist content, will now be officially banned. Today, we're taking another step in our hate speech policy by specifically prohibiting videos alleging that a group is superior in order to justify discrimination. And I'm okay with that. If it, co if it comes to someone's race and they're saying they're superior to any other race, they can, be, they can say that. I'm not against them having free speech to say that. You can be white and believe you're superior to other races. You can be black and believe you're a superior or God's chosen race. You have the freedom to believe it and to teach it. That's part of our freedom of speech. Okay, as long as you're not teaching hate and to go out and kill people. But yeah, I can see, you know, them them banning that. I can understand that, the reasoning behind that. Because segregation or any type of exclusion based on race or your gender, uh, you know, I don't think we should discriminate based on race or gender. I think most people agree on that. But uh, if you have different beliefs, you should be allowed to talk about it without being deleted. But it says, that is expected to lead to the removal of thousands of accounts. Okay? Thousands of accounts. 
as it goes into place. Though that could take some time, we will begin enforcing this updated policy today. However, it will take time for our system to fully ramp up and we'll be gradually expanding coverage over the next several months. Its announcement read. Oop, too fast. It did not give any specific examples of accounts that would be removed. It noted that some of these accounts are useful for re to researchers and said it would try and work on ways of making sure that they stay available. It also said the change would not affect videos that are discussing pending legislation aimed to condemn or expose hate or provide analysis of current events. So in other words, if you were talking about someone who is partaking in such practices as hate speech or whatever, they would allow you to do that, almost like you are a news network. And it says, it will also alter its algorithms in an attempt to stop certain kinds of misleading and harmful videos, such as those promoting fake miracle cures or flat earth hoax. So if you say, this is what it sounds like to me, if you're saying flat earth is a hoax, you're banned. So if you're a baller, you should be concerned <laughs> because none of us think flat earth is a hoax. It's not a hoax, okay? We are exposing one of the biggest hoaxes that has ever been played out, that's been going on and in the work for centuries by the same ones that run this place and the ones that run it in secret. Why would they run it in secret? Because they're keeping stuff from people. That's the only reason to keep secrets, otherwise they would have come out already and said, hey, we're planning a surprise party for everybody. But they're not. There are secrets for a reason. A lot of those are geared around creation, and as far as fake miracle cures, what the heck? Where did that come from? I mean, if somebody's saying, oh, this is a miracle drug that'll cure something and they sell it to someone and it doesn't work or it's misleading, that's more of a lawsuit issue between the person and, the, and then whoever's selling the cure. I don't understand why they're deleting those. I'm thinking they're, they're probably trying to talk about natural health remedies. Those are probably the ones they're going after. I doubt it's fake miracle cures. It's probably somebody saying, hey, instead of taking this addictive drug, take this herbal supplement or take, eat this or try this, do this natural thing, change your diet. A lot of the things that doctors should do, they will pro that's probably what they're talking about, not the fake mir miracle cure stuff. And I uh, wonder, they're probably trying to include miracles in general, people who have miracle testimonies. Some of those videos have been vanishing and that's just strange when someone's talking about them going from being paralyzed to walking, being dead for 45 minutes or so, and being risen from the dead. Those type of videos, vanishing. Quite strange, because these are medically documented cases where people have been healed, including my own healing miracle. It is not fake at all. It is not a hoax. It happened to me, and I did experience what I experienced. It was real, more real than anything I've ever experienced in my life. But uh, the fact that it's going after the biblical earth, which is our freedom to believe and teach what we believe, freedom of religion, it's kind of branched in that umbrella that we thought we had freedom of religion. People, even the ones, a lot of the ones promoting the globe idea, they don't even believe that's a globe. And I've heard some inside information, can't really share identities. But they're not taught that it's a globe. Their, their parents and whoever their handlers are or whatever, they don't teach them it's a globe. That's kind of a shocker to me. I, I thought they would have been convinced of it as well. But they don't believe that either. They teach it, but they don't believe it. And this is the higher-ups. This isn't everybody. But um, they're going to stop recommending videos. Of course they have. Like I said before, we are no longer getting outside viewers and subscribers our count has been dropping and people that see the videos are usually the ones right after I post one and they've clicked the bell icon they see it so thank you guys for continuing to follow share support and just send us your love it is a great blessing in these last times of being able to share truth on this platform it has been a great place and it's been a very fun adventure for so many people to be able to explore and look up things in the past. We've watched that change within the last few years to where we can no longer just do research here. We have to go to different resources and find 
the same things that were really easy to find not that long ago. And I'm, he I'm hearing a lot of us, I'm talking to other YouTubers and they're saying the same things that I'm experiencing happening to them. Like people getting unsubscribed, their likes going away, you know, the random stuff, no longer getting notified. Stuff's been going on for a while. But it says they've already trialed the system to do this in the US and it said it has found success. It will bring it more it will bring it to more countries by the end of the year. And it said as well as tuning the algorithm so that it is more effective. In other words, they're deleting more accounts quicker, 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 and it's just it's not going to slow down people we have to unite and share truth maybe do some sort of rally it would seem like showing up at their headquarters being kind no violence whatsoever not giving them any ammunition just love and showing everyone we deserve freedom of speech we don't ask for money we don't ask for wealth and fame we just want to be able to share our ideas and for people to be able to find them when they look for them. So the shadow ban, as annoying as it is, it's far worse to actually delete our channels. That is modern day book burning is what it is. And they are funneling people to the one source that they want them to see. And that is a form of brainwashing. If you don't recognize it, even if you're not into what I believe about the earth, you have to realize it is a funnel. It's just like what Hitler did when his regime took over, they bought everybody radios and only allowed them to listen to their local stations. That's how you get large quantities of people to believe the same thing and to let things slide. You wonder how the world got corrupt so fast. If you can control what people see, you can control what people do and what they think. And that's what's happening. And it says here, the openness of YouTube's platform has helped creativity and access to information thrive. Its openness, when it was open, did allow that. Its blog post concluded, it's our responsibility to protect that and prevent our platform from being used to incite hate. We do not incite hate. Do we receive hate? Yes. Do the people that are against us make videos that insult us? I see videos where people are making fun of my videos and me in general and saying that my mom should have had an abortion or that, you know, my brother should have just been killed after he was born. All these different things in these videos. Those are allowed on YouTube. It is hate speech because of my belief. They are discriminating against me because of a belief. And that's what they should be against. They should be deleting those videos, but those are promoted. Those aren't shadow banned. Those aren't blocked. You can type in the exact name of that video and pull it up. And it says here, we are committed to taking the steps needed to live up to this responsibility today, tomorrow, and in the years to come. The change comes on the same day as the company said it would not remove videos in which one of its stars, this is one of YouTube stars, attacked another user over his sexuality using a series of anti-gay slurs. So they're allowing one of their stars to get away with it. I'm interested to see what that's about, I have no clue. Strangely, the company now explicitly bans videos that encourage discrimination or segregation based on sexuality, but made no reference to that high-profile case in its blog post and did not say that it would change its position. YouTube has been repeatedly criticized for its relative, relatively lax approach towards various kinds of harmful content, including those on the far right. The criticism became even more prominent in the wake of the... I can't even say that word on here. You can read it right here. When, <coughs> when it and other video sites failed to quickly remove videos of the mass murder. So, not sure what the deal was with that because I've never seen a cover up so fast and swift. I mean, it, it's still going on. They are putting people in prison just for having those files saved on their personal computers. Quite strange. So, um, as such, the site has been repeatedly accused of not only permitting but also encouraging extremism by playing host to often violent and niche accounts. But right-wing channels also make up a significant part of YouTube's channels and their viewers. Earlier this year, Bloomberg reported that far-right videos were one of the site's most popular categories. Hmm, that's okay. If that's where people want to go, should be allowed. I see nothing wrong with it. 
The decision also comes amid increasing scrutiny from conservative politicians about whether YouTube has a bias against right-wing creators. As with Twitter and Facebook, the company has been criticized for undermining free speech and being unfair towards its conservative users. This is true, despite the fact that there is no evidence of those accounts being discriminated against, other than them being demonetized and everything else and shadow banned. Yeah, they're not discriminated against whatsoever. So I think that's the end of the article. I don't see anything else. It's all a bunch of ads. But I just feel like we there's a lot of things I want to get out as fast as I can while I still can. So please, if you have not hit the bell icon, hit that so you can get notifications while we're still here. And if worst case scenario, we're not, which I'm not going to believe for that. I do believe we're here for a reason. I don't think our time to go is yet, but you never know. I don't want to keep this channel first in my life and make it something to where if it goes away, it just destroys me. But it has been a blessing to spend time with you guys, to watch and see your testimonies as you guys change. And I just, I've really appreciated you all being here for us. This is one of those things when you, be, when you come into the truth, you are literally separated from the world. And it can almost be a lonely feeling at first, even though you have joy and freedom and your mind really opens up to things. It's lonely because you do become separated of something that you grew up with. You leaned on it. You loved it. You thought it would make you really happy to have it. You always kind of had this void and suspicion that things were off. But uh, losing something that you've had your whole life is not easy. Even though it's better to have the freedom, the joy, and the miracles, and the love that's available. There's some things that people miss. And I hear Truth are saying all the time, man, I really miss just being able to watch a movie and not seeing all the hidden meanings in the works of the evil one and everything. You just don't realize how much the deception goes on or how deep it is. And so it's good to have you guys as a community and a family to just talk to, share things with, and have you guys share our stuff when it rings true to you. And just all of the things you've taught us, I really appreciate that. We have learned so much from your wisdom. And I believe that's why many of you were sent here. And it's so, to, and it's really an answer to a prayer that I had that led me this direction. And it was just simply asking to be shown the truth about creation and to give glory to the Father. And I really, I know that it has, and I'm thankful that it has. And it's humbling to see that the truth has set so many of you guys free from the lies that have held us prisoner to a false reality to serve in a system that will not pan out in the end okay all of the things of this world are temporary the pleasures have their climax and they're gone i want you guys to experience something so much greater and we need to unite and i want us to start making an effort to spend time with the father go off to where you can or unite with other people nearby make time with him a priority because the creator of everything loves you. He hears you. His will is for you to be healed. And that's not a hoax. This is not some false miracle cure. This is real. The miracle that I've experienced or miracles that I've experienced are real. His love is real. And that's what's causing all of this to be shut down as fast as they are. Because when the real truth gets out as fast as it is right now, if they hadn't slowed it down, some things would start happening. You guys would see, like the old days when they were burning Christians alive, they were spreading something powerful. They weren't killing people. They weren't hurting anyone. It was a joy and love that we cannot keep to ourselves. That joy unspeakable, I can't keep it to myself much longer. It has to come out because it is real. I want you guys to experience that to the fullest we have to stop holding back. All you have to do is say you're ready. As soon as you're ready, it's there. Okay? So pray for us. Keep this channel in your prayers, this ministry. I don't really look at it like a channel. This is a ministry where we also share research. But we have freedom, and we should always have freedom to teach what we believe and what we see as reality. No matter how crazy it sounds to the world. Love you guys. Thanks so much for being awesome. And we'll see you soon.
As always, you are a beloved creation of the Most High.